let's start because time time is a constraint my topic was given as oh osh 2019 i do not know that many people knows it or what it is actually osh 2019 is our factories act previously after Indi after independence we had the factories act 1948 it was going on on and on from 2017 uh, <clears throat> there were you know they started working all of us in the directorate of factories i was in directorate of factories all the directorate of factories including center and dg firstly as per the proposal of the parliamentarians the new things they have thought about something and ultimately it came as occupational health and safety code 2019 now what had happened actually there were some 13 acts 13 central acts considering so what had happened in the run there were 13 central act 13 central act uh, for the uh, benefit of the labors in india so what had happened in this code what has been made the 13 labor acts have been squeezed into one code that is occupational uh, the health health and safety code 2019 uh, as i already said in india we have got our factories act in since 1948 40, after the independence now in the act in ohs code there are many things have been changed but to my per perception as i have practiced this factories act and factories rules for long 32 years in the directorate of factories that is deputy chief inspector of factories so in my opinion this is this has been made uh, comprehensive and good and many points have been touched particularly i will be shifting to occupation uh, medical examination of the workers very, uh, in a uh, in a quick way this is for the first time in india it is given in black and white working condition in the factories act working condition has been given in the ohs code as black and white previously it was not there these help i actually this it will change the lot of perspective of the medical examination of the workers whatever we have heard just now the chairperson of this session what he has said i won't repeat but that is the very crass thing for india our country for us we need the basics and i personally as i have said the 35 years 35 32 long years i was the director of factories i used to examine personally with my hands to the workers of the of the factories factory workers i wonder how many of the factory medical officers used to do the medical examination by their own hand for their factories factory workers because it it is whatever i am telling it is not from the book it is from my experience now i am not going into the detail of the ohs code 2019 but there are many changes the definition of employee definition of worker definition of the employer has been changed a bit taking into a greater perspective of the situation that none is spared in this ohs code so worker now what are the things they have put into the ohs code there were 13 chapters each chapter contains section and 129 section previously it was only 120 three schedules as previous first schedule second schedule and third schedule and now there are many sections directly relating to occupational health in this ohs code previously it was not directly chapter 3 duties of employer and employees chapter 4 occupational safety and health and health and working conditions now there are other things also dangerous operations specific responsibility of the occupier in relation to hazardous process emergency standards permissible limits of exposure and chemicals and toxic substances it was not previously there we used to consult other books 
Now, workers' participation in safety management, it was there. And rights of workers to work one about imminent danger and power to direct inquiry into cases of accidental disease in a factory. Now, among this, specific responsibility of the occupier in relation to the hazardous process. Occupier means, as you all know, he is the chief or head of the entire establishment. So, we must be very happy because it is his responsibility. But ye to nahi hota hai na? O upar wala chal ke to nahi aayega na? To aap hi ko karna hai. To ye act, this responsibility actually lies on the medical officer or the factory medical officer. And I'm not going into detail, but I tell you, the specific responsibility to occupy in relation to hazardous process, if you go through it, you will be astonished that nothing is spared. There are at least 11 points, 11 uh, paragraphs are there. And each is so important, and it lies on you only. And in, in, in writing, it is written, specific responsibility to occupy. But it is, you have to do it. Not the other party will not come and do it for you. Now, hazardous substance has been defined. Previously, it was as causing uh, physical damage to the workers only. Now, it has included physical or health hazards to human being or may cause harm to other living creatures, plants, microorganisms, property or environment. Everything is covered. Now, qualified medical practitioner, we must be thankful to the OHS code that we are still there. No other infiltration. I don't want to name it. Okay. So, medical officer, serious bodily injury, and notice of certain accidents, notice of certain diseases. Now, there is another thing. National Occupational Health and Safety Advisory Board has been made in this OHS code. And this National Occupational Health Safety Advice Board, it is going to replace the DG firstly. Now, National Board consists of so many people, so many big people. Again, responsibility has been given to the state also. State Occupational Safety and Health Advisory Board, previously it was not there. Now, health standards have been done. Now, what I was talking to you, Section 23, responsibility to the employer for maintaining health and working conditions. If you just look at it, I'm not going into, I'm not reading it, but everything is there, every tidbit, it will not be a cakewalk for, for, for any administration in the factory. It is not going to be a cakewalk. You must know the things. And if you don't know, being emotional or being psychological is not going to help you in, in either way. Okay, you have to know it. Now, Penalties Penalties means the violation of the rules or violations of the code. Penalty previously was there up to 2 lakhs of rupees. Now here penalty has gone to 10 lakhs. So penalty has also been increased along with the imprisonment. So, so intention of the uh, lawmakers is very clear. They want to maintain the workers' health and worker safety and to maintain a specific working conditions. <coughs> now, coming into the um, uh, occupational health, the biggest share of work-related mortality came from work-related diseases which accounted for 2.4 million, 24 lakhs of total estimated death. It, is a, it was given in 2017 statistics. We were क्या नहीं किया हम लोग कोविड कोविड या कोविड का भूत उतरता ही नहीं है हम 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 लोग हम हम लोग का कंधे से कोविड का भूत उतरना नहीं है आज भी देख रहा है कोई कोई कंपनी लगा रहा है ये कोविड के लिए ये सब ये सब मेरा है छोरो कोविड 24 लाख इन ए ईयर हैज कोविड डन दिस वी डोंट नो वी नेवर बोदर्ड वी नेवर बोदर्ड अबाउट द वर्कर्स हेल्थ if it is so, then this figure wouldn't have come. And this is the figure of 2017. Now in 2022, I can bet it, is, it has already touched 32 lakhs in a year. <clears throat> Nobody has took the name of our father of occupational medicine. That is Professor Bardadino Ramazzini. I am taking his name. May his soul bless me. And 
Father of medicine, what he said, it is still valuable. Whatever you do, you do AI, you do BI, you do XI, XYZ, whatever the thing. The task of the whole thing is, what is your occupation? And what is your occupation? Doesn't mean, hum to sab factory mein kaam karta hai. That is not the, what is your occupation? We have to go into the details. I'm just telling, I'm just telling, please remind me. I'm just telling you, in a late factory I was examining. So I found one person as he enters into my room, in the factory only. So I found a old, an old man is entering my room. So I, I have asked him, what is your age? Aap leeg lijiye, pachas to hone alai hai. So he, he looks around 65 like that. So I called the uh, personal manager. He, after consulting the papers and said, Sir, ye aspas ka hoga, 48, 50. He says, this not, doesn't look like that. So immediately I got it, it's a lead factory. Lead dust is when it's a case of progeria. Much before Amitabh, Amitabh flooded India with power. So I asked him, what do you work? Sir, we to in factory. Mein kaam karta hai. अब देखो तुम्हारा वो जो मैनेजर जो बाजू का घर में बैठा है ना वो भी फैक्ट्री में काम करता है तुम ये सभी सेड में हम काम करता है अब तुम एक आदमी सभी सेड में तुम कैसे काम करते हो अरे साहब आप समझता नहीं है हम झाड़ू लगाता है वो जो डस्ट बनता है ना वो सभी सेड में 8 घंटा मेरा ड्यूटी पर चलता है हम झाड़ू लगाता है सी हिज एक्सपोजर माय एग्जामिनेशन हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड जस्ट कैलकुलेट हिज एक्सपोजर जो जो लेस डार्ट बनता है उसको हम झाड़ू लगाता है एट आवर्स ए डे एंड ही इज अ केस ऑफ प्रोजेरिया सो दिस इज वट एवर आवर फादर ऑक्यूपेशनल मेडिसिन सेट इट इज स्टिल टूडे इट इज करेक्ट इट इज द ओनली टास्क दैट इज वॉट इज योर ऑक्यूपेशन समबडी वॉज सेंग दैट ओबेज ऑफिस सेक्रेटरी सो वॉट इज योर ऑक्यूपेशन ही और शी वॉज रेफरिंग टू दैट वाई ओबेज because she is sitting 8 hours 10 hours and having uh, good food that is the smart food of today's i heard professor dr sarin yesterday was telling that uh, what 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 we, we should eat or oh, smart food name next the causation of the occupational disease this worker is in a working environment we all agree now working environment how much 300 days in a year, 8 hours a day. So if, the, if, you, if he enters into 18 years and lives at 58 years, this, is, this, is come, this comes to be 40 years. So calculating entire thing, it, it is that 96,000 hours he is there. That is the work, working environment. And if the working environment is not conducive with the physiological demand of the worker, of the body of the worker, then there will be a certain interaction is, must be there. And, and this interaction precipitates as occupational disease. This is my definition. While I was in MBBS, oh, in our time, there was occupational health. In the PSM book, there was 12 pages. Ka hai. Parker. Ka. Still it is. So, it's written in the definition of occupational health. Itna, itna bada. Koi 12 lines, 15 lines hoga. I never get into my head. O senior log bula, ye sab kuch nahi aata hai, mat par. Dekha, aya nahi kabhi. But the definition of occupational health is this. Workers in working environment. So occupational is so, if you correct the working environment to, to the physiological demand of the worker, then there will be Less occupational disease, no, there will be no occupational diseases. Okay, so occupational disease, pathological condition, and the special characteristics of occupational diseases. It is almost chronic, always chronic in nature. It has no age preference, as we know. The etiopathology lies in the work environment only, and there is no surgical or medical cure of an established occupational disease. The prognosis is either permanent disability or death. I said, I, I added it, whichever is earlier. This is the prognosis. Now, all occupational diseases are both notifiable and are compensable under the existing law. So, what will be, what is going to be? So, uh, I, I have to conclude 
the objectives, our objective, occupational health physician, what is our objective? Our objective is to maintain unhindered optimum production by the worker because that is needed, that is giving you value, that is giving you GST, that is giving you so many other things. So, to maintain unhindered optimum production by the workers, free from the threat of probable occupational diseases arising out of the employment, we have to work there only. We have to work there only. Just taking 30 minutes, 30 seconds. In Batashu factory, something about 20 years before while I was visiting, in one section, there were 40 people, they, they are putting the lace of the Hawaii chapels. They are taking it, putting it into this way, and thrown, putting it into this way, three, three points, by, by pushing there. So I was just observing them, and I took the hand, I examined, I found and comprised that this phalanx is much flatter than this one. I asked for the x-rays of, of all the phalanx. You know, as a medical inspector factories, I can, I can ask anything over there. So I found that all 30 workers, the minimum, minimum uh, their exposure was at least 10 years. They have got flattened their phalanx, uh, like, like anything, but uh, twice the size of this phalanx. This is occupational health, my dear friend. Your observation. Clinics. Clinics is also in occupational health. Uske baad jo karna hai, technology karlo. Okay? Clinics and your observation. Thank you.